the Folsom City Zoo under fire tonight over its fence. Yeah, the problem federal inspectors say it's not tall enough. Now the 60 year old zoo could face fines or worse if it can't reach new heights. The Folsom City Zoo is a popular place for families to visit. I like that it's close by. It is absolutely one of our favorite places here in Folsom. Krista Barna purchased a family pass. It's just a really pleasant walk. It's shady, there's deer in the middle, and we like taking the stroller and just taking a family walk through it. And nine-year-old Bonnie has some favorite animals. Monkeys and the wolves. But now the future of Timber the Wolf, Henry the Black Bear, and other animals is uncertain. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, which regulates zoos, inspected the facility last November and found it does not meet current safety standards. The six-acre site is surrounded by a fence that's supposed to keep animals inside and keep trespassers out. USDA rules require fences to be at least eight feet tall, but an inspector found Folsom's fence was much lower in some areas. We brought our own tape measure and found this spot near the entrance, although it had barbed wire on top, the fully enclosed portion was less than six feet tall. So why is the Folsom City Zoo's fence so low? Over the years, um, soil has moved around. There's been a lot of debris and litter, so the, the ground level has been brought up. The zoo faces some steep fines and could be forced to close if the fence isn't replaced by March of next year. The fines are based on how many animals you have in there, and so it, it equates to approximately $10,000 a day. Fans of the zoo want to see it fixed. You, you can't close the zoo. The zoo has to stick around. And it's kind of the heart of Folsom. The fate of the zoo now in the hands of the Folsom City Council, which is being asked to approve spending nearly $650,000 to raise the fence. Well, I definitely think it's worth investing in. The city council is scheduled to vote on fixing the fence next Tuesday. They're likely to vote for it because the majority of the money will come from federal stimulus funding.